in with a truncated version of what we've done before. We've done that thing where you inhale like you're breathing in through a straw. Mm -hmm. The purpose of which is to try to get the back of the mouth open, mm -hmm. okay? And then we open up to like an ah, so you have, or a joyful surprise. What did I get for Christmas? And the soft palate raises and the diaphragm goes whoop and drops down, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that over two beats now. So you go, just about anything and still sound pretty good. I mean, not anything, but just about. Mm -hmm. So what I wanna make sure that we're doing is that we are getting the, the body aligned well and that the jaw is kind of where we want it to be, which is kind of tucked in a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? So when you go, ooh, ooh, you have a feeling of a little tuck on that jaw. Put your finger on your jaw like this, like you've got a secret. Mm -hmm. Keep your head up though as you do it, so don't allow this to bring your your head down and yes. yeah, very nice. Do you notice how easily you move from the top to the bottom when you have that space adjusted correctly? Yeah. And so just to let you know, strategy wise, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this space to get nice and tall mm -hmm. for the top pitch. Ooh, but we don't want to let it collapse on the way down. We don't want to go, ooh, ah, ooh. so it keeps a little bit of that space in there as you go down, okay? yourself two little dimples right in between where your back molars are okay mm -hmm. so the same beginning oh okay and Just one more thing. Oh, the back has to feel like it's getting taller as the front feels like it's getting narrower, okay?
tongue stays in that nice ah position, okay? And here we go. slender space that you're singing through. Put your hands out in front like this. A tiny little wall. Whoa, that you have to send it through that little narrow space. Very nice. Good. Now keep the head in line as you do it. in any way. Mm -hmm. It just sounds like healthy and vibrant, okay? The, I organize them by tongue vowels, lip vowels, or, do you know what the third option is? Are you doing German at all? We just started German. So, what can the other, what can the other option be? Either your tongue moves, or your lips move, or both of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So when we're doing the Italian vowels, you don't have to worry about the, the third variation. It's only tongue or, or lip, one or the other. Mm -hmm. So let's do a little... ceiling raise up yeah. back here yeah okay. or like yawning but yawning is like usually too stiff you don't want to be like yeah singing yeah. like that okay so the drink works pretty well mm -hmm. or another way of thinking of it is like smelling your favorite smell so yeah you walk in and you smell that smell and all of a sudden 
the floor lowers and the ceiling gets higher. Yeah. Okay. So that space, we'll call it your back room, that space in the tube above your vocal folds, is primarily responsible for giving your sound depth. Because mm -hmm. if I go E and I have it up like this, I go E, now I have more depth, right? It also will help you when you're moving between your lower voice and your upper voice. So for example, if you if you don't make the space feel taller and you go, uh, you feel like you're going to crash and burn, right? Uh, adjusting it helps you move up and down, yeah. okay? This space up here from the hump and the tongue forward, the front room is for vowels, because that's where your tongue and your lips are located, right? Mm -hmm. But it also is for the, the bright pinginess in the voice as well. So if I got depth and I got brightness, I've got dark and I've got, you know. So when you're doing this, right now where we are in the range, this not a lot has to be adjusted. You just have to kind of keep the parachute open and kind of ride the wind to the end of the exercise, okay? Mm -hmm. As we get higher, though, it's going to need to to expand a little bit more. Okay, what I'm what I'd like you to do though, as you as you do two vowels across or one vowel across two pitches, if you change the shape of the spaces, that was my long way of getting to this. If you change the shape of those spaces, do you notice how it doesn't sound legato? It doesn't sound smooth. The jaw didn't have to move at all. Yeah. Okay, so let's aim for that. Ready? And bring in the out of it, but let's enunciate like you would for singing. So, celebre flores curtumem with that opening of the la, like this, okay? Okay. Celebre flores curtumem. Now, you already have a lot of change in the amount of jaw opening. Yeah. And it's okay if your jaw open and closes. As a matter of fact, you want it to. And there's a reason why you want it to. It makes sure that the muscles stay loose. Mm -hmm. If you're holding your jaw in one place, everything tightens up around it. So it is totally fine to move the jaw, 
or to want to make sure that it goes back to its home heaven. Okay, one more time. Si le ve claris petuma. Mem. Petumem. Me. J'entends que tu m'aimes bien. Je ne crois pas que le roi m'aime. Est en bonheur pareil au mien. Yeah, so remember to do this separate of singing because mm -hmm. we got to get that skill down before we try spinning too many plates at once, okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, right where that's we, yeah, just the part we did. One, okay. two, three. Disturb the leg up. Two and. Yeah, and on pare as well, yeah? But you got it. You know how to work on it going on. Speak. Let's just get that much, okay? Not a schwa, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's a little bit more open than my schwa. But let's do. Okay. <laughs> Ma fantasy, 
Let's do that one more time. Tous ces candides de l'ambroisie ne touchent point ma fantaisie au prix des grâces de tes yeux. De tes yeux. Nice and even. Okay, let's all move out of the way. You're just going to hear this one, the the second two. Page. Yeah, it's the bottom, bottom yeah. system of the second page. time but put your dimples in okay remember they're back between the back teeth the back yeah. dimples not front not the cute front dimples like Dana has like cute little front dimples you see your smile mm -hmm. okay put them back here okay who's okay. de l'ambroisie ready and <laughs> how much easier your voice was functioning mm -hmm. yeah especially yeah. as you're moving through that intermediary space be before you're like mm -hmm. in your very high voice yeah so that little bit of space makes a huge amount of difference okay, okay so okay. yeah I just, I just need the piano. cool so if you're really dividing good. the measure in the like two like either it's either in a big four or it's in two things of four. I like the idea of a big four. So it's grâce de tes yeux, two, three, tous ces candides de la moisie. Does that make sense? So it feels like it's in a big four. You're hearing him go bum, bum, but it's really, Sense. Yes. So let's go from. So it's like kind of what he's playing, like with the left hand. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, two, secondi. Oh, okay. Because I'm following the harmonic rhythm. Notice how he plays these octaves. Do, do. That's one beat. It sounds like two beats to us, but that's one beat because it's the same chord. So okay. do. Let's start on that first two sacral D, okay? Okay. So where we started before. It's on the end of three. Okay. So. Two. 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 
goes yeah. up the scale. So you're singing, yeah, you're singing the same note twice. Mm-hmm. But... Sense? Okay. Let's start on on the measure of you, tes you. Okay. So, so imagine that you sang you, tes you. same measure and one two and three The same, the, the Tezio measure. And one, two, and three. You have a lot of off beats. So you have ne tu ne tu je pois ma fane and that's not dotted. Ne tu je pois ma fane zi o pri de grace de tes you. It's all these off beats. Okay? So let's do from Ne tu je one, two, three. Ne tu je Let's get the right yep, pitches. Okay. One and two. Ne tu je pois. Did I not? Okay. Can you explain that? Ne tu je pois. Ne tu je pois. Ne tu je pois. Okay. You're on. And four. Ne tu je pois. Ma fante. tool the line thing yes yeah. so that's a perfect measure for that tool mm-hmm. okay. 25 cents or 50? Huh? 25 cents or 50 if cents? I do it I don't have to pay myself okay. anything I have it written in my book <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah so that because that's a tricky one mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, and it lines up differently than it did the first time, right? The first one is. Yeah. This is. Ne touche point ma fantasy. So fa it lines up on the beat. Ma fantasy. Oh, free. So there's your beats. Such a pretty song. Yeah, it is. It's a great piece, okay? So look at that when you sing it, just one time so you have that visual. Does that make sense? Let's do one more time. And yeah, and you can 
instruction. Grâce de tes yeux. Because he has nothing moving in beat four or beat whatever and a half of that measure. Yeah. Okay? okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's hear the rest. Let's go on to something else. Can we imagine your dimples are there. You don't have to put them there, but imagine them. Too slow. Yeah. So you do. Um, no rose, but is mine. No. Yeah. If you don't stretch that out so long, it'll mm -hmm. feel a little bit okay. easier. Yep. Can you do from no measure in the bass, third measure. Okay. Okay. amazing there at the end <laughs> okay so when he gets busier mm -hmm. in the piano be careful that you don't get busier I got the feeling like as soon as he went in triplets you're like oh my god, oh my god. yeah <laughs> you know and you kind of like picked up the steam you got to keep it it just feels like it's in a big one the whole time yeah one one okay so in this piece, mm -hmm. I think you are, I think you're fine with all of your enunciation. Everything is coming out well. Mm -hmm. Two things to pay attention to. When you have two or more notes on one vowel, uh, or one vowel on two or more notes, yeah. rose, rose, you have to re-sound yeah. the vowel through those two pitches, okay? okay. Yep. And Oftentimes, when you're doing, uh, you you disconnect between that, and you like place the top note. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, connect, but adjust that back room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you just start the piece at the beginning? Yeah. You know, I was gonna say the best example of you not doing that was on sense the lovely, the yeah 
Because uh, you had no choice. Mm -hmm. You have to stay on the up. Uh. That was great. Yeah. You need to do them all like that, even if there's a consonant and another word in between. Okay? okay. Just the beginning. <laughs> I'll just give the last one again. sense that's that's yeah. what I would what I would work on going forward yeah yep.
I think like character wise, you can have like a little bit more like you're you're too polite with it. Make it Can you sing Daltorigo? And I want to hear that nice chess process. Yeah, as long as you don't push it, you can use a little bit of that. Yeah. And it sounds like nasty. Like you're being you're kind of like being nasty back, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like